Hello everyone! Episode 70 is going to come out really soon, and a lot of people have really high expectations about it, and I am no exception here. So today I'm going to share the best and the most interesting theories and predictions that I have about it. What's going to happen with the squad survivors in the bunker? When did Titans appear? And how would they get into the base? And what is G-Man and Skibidi Scientist's next move? Get your tea and snacks ready, and prepare to watch this video to the end. Because that's going to be really entertaining. Let's go. So, as the episode 70 is getting closer to its release, more and more talks about grand final battle and the possible end of the series are starting to appear. And to tell you honestly, guys, it all has kind of a good basis for that. Personally, I also share the idea that it's time for Da Fook to wrap the plot of Skibidi Universe series up, but there are a few really cool twists I also expect him to do. And to reassure you guys, no, I don't really believe the series is about to be over, and I know how to prove it but I'll do it a little bit later, so watch the whole thing not to miss anything. You guys wrote a lot in the comments section under my last analysis video that I didn't say anything about the description Da Fook made for his compilation video of episode 69. The description looks like, Infiltration Squad is moving towards Skibidi Scientist, while outside Alliance reinforcements arrive. No more retreating. And I agree that it provides two really important hints for the next episode. First, Skibidi Scientist was mentioned which means that we'll certainly see him again, and I'll talk about him and his possible role in the future of the series, but a bit later. And second, now it made me even more convinced that the next episode is about to unfold the most important battle in Skibidi Universe history, and the outcomes of it will define everything. It will get involved not only the remaining members of the squad, but the trio of Titans, the whole Alliance's reinforcements, and all the major antagonists on Skibidi's side, Da Fook is about to go all in, and this time no secrets will be left unanswered. I also think that in the next episode, we may see some significant loses and dramatic emotional moments, because every solid finale requires something like that. And now, we have a perfect setup for this. Talking about the fate of the guys that infiltrated the bunker, I think that at least one last and most impactful sacrifice is imminent. In one of my previous analyses, I already told that, unfortunately, I expect Plungerman to be the number one to go soon. And considering how beloved this character is among the fan base of the series, that would be a bittersweet, perfect climatic moment. Also, I'm expecting him to somehow use the protective lens that was given to him by his comrade Big Cameraman before passing away. Will it hold some actual power, though? Or maybe he'll manage to do something important with it. In any case, I really doubt whether this thing can save him or not. And speaking of saving, I expect our favorite trio of Titans to get into the Skibidi main base as well, and with their help some of the luckiest members of the Elite Squad will probably get rescued and won't be lost forever. And I am sure about the way they can actually do that. Do you guys remember how in the second part of Episode 69, Titan TV Man recharged the core of Titan Cameraman while leaving Titan Speaker Man in hold? But it didn't look as a simple whim. It actually seemed like the trio had a certain plan on what to do next and Titan Speakerman had to be recharged later. Then, all three of them set off to some unknown direction, and I have a few thoughts on what is about to happen with all of them soon. First thing first, let's talk about the way the trio is about to get into the base. It already seemed suspicious to me before how Skibidi Scientist Giant Puppet and all G-Clones managed to come out of Skibidi Base, considering how small the main entrance must have been for them. Plus, I paid a lot of attention to the scene where the frightened G-Man leaves the comrade on the battlefield in front of a dangerous enemy and flees away. But where to? So my idea is that there's an alternative entrance from the back of the mountain Skibidi Bunker had been built in, made specifically for the Skibidi army allies of the larger sizes. Both G-Man and Skibidi scientists definitely use this route to get in and out of the base, and that's exactly how three of our Titans are about to break into the Skibidi base as well. The second thing is that I expect Titan Speaker Man to fulfill a very special role on that stage of infiltration in the next episode. I think the main reason for him not to get recharged right on spot was that he still had a decent amount of energy within his core that could still be extremely useful in the process of infiltrating the base. I think he'll be the first one to break in and to fight multiple Skibidi with the power of his core so the other two Titans wouldn't waste the precious energy on the ordinary Guardians of the base and save it for the final boss or bosses. So the Titans' plan may be to actually recharge Titan Speakerman's core after the main process of infiltration, when they will be on their way to the final room. 
That's probably where their paths are about to get crossed with the plot arc of the survived members of the squad. And moreover, as I talked about the necessary sacrifice a few minutes ago, there's another prediction that may seem even more depressing to you guys, but I cannot help but voice it. I expect another sacrifice, and this time, on the bigger boys' side. Right now, it seems to me that Titan Speakerman can actually get heavily injured during the battle with some important skibidi, let's say, G-Man, or even destroyed forever. Because there is the possibility that Titan TV Man wouldn't manage to get his core recharged at time before the final battle, and Titan Speaker Man will find himself in the very dangerous situation. And there's the reason for me to think that. Remember what I said about G-Man getting his latest upgrades done in the Skibidi base that was shown to us in the secret tablet scene added by Dafuk? By the way, recently I've made the whole video recap about G-Man as a character, and if you haven't seen it yet, check it out after this video. So, I suppose that this G-Man may actually turn out to be the original one that we didn't see for a while, or that maybe he's another clone, but with the best improvements possible, so he fled in order not to waste all the resources that Skibidi scientists and engineers have put into him. In any case, one thing is clear to me here. G-Man is about to get upgraded as hell, and he will put it all in during the final battle. Because Dafuk wrote in the description, no more retreating, meaning that no one will be able to flee from the inescapable anymore, which goes for G-Man in the first place. That being said, I'm absolutely sure the final battle will be very rough and G-Man will be deadlier than ever. And proving his current power status, he may badly hurt one of the Titans or even destroy one. I really wish that this one prediction wouldn't come true though, it seems quite dreadful to me. But on the other hand, G-Man held his potential back for way too many episodes in the series already, so it would be a perfect opportunity for him as a character to snap. Let's move on to the next predictions. I think that the weapon that POV from the end of episode 69 was given can actually turn out to be some sort of shotgun, not a shotgun, and its purpose may be to stun Skibidi on the spot because they seem to be quite vulnerable to that type of damage. Or maybe it can be an upgraded laser gun, which would be really fun to watch in action. Also, do you remember the big TV man with cool purple tentacles that was shown to us from the back in the secret ending scene added by Dafuk in his last compilation video? Despite his intimidating looks, I also have my fair share of concerns about this guy. And you know why? Because in the finale, we seem to have already lost Big Speaker Man and Big Camera Man Big Boys from two of the Alliance's races, and now it's only TV men who are left. We will see whether that's going to be true or not. But I am definitely done with the idea of possible sacrifices at this point. Another thing is that I expect to see Skibidi Scientist once again and I am debating the idea that this time he will come out alive of this mess. In my previous videos, I stated how I feel that Skibidi Scientist doesn't seem to be the bigger fish in the Skibidi army anymore, and so does G-Man. We've seen Skibidi Kleiner, and I'm really curious about the true hierarchy here. But considering that Dafuk put the scientist's name in the description as the final prey for the Alliance, I expect him to fulfill an important role in the next episode, and we may unveil some other secret on the way. Maybe he and G-Man will be the epic final bosses for the trio of Titans and the members of the Alliance, and I have a certain vision of the outcome of this fight. As I said before, I expect one of the Titans to get injured of destroyed in this fight. I suppose there may be some sort of false dramatic moment when Titan Speakerman may seem to be perished, but then in the end it may turn out that he is actually alive. And on that note, I'd like to talk about the most interesting part here, about the possible finale of the whole series. Because this idea with the played audience and fake ending seems really cool to me. What if it may go this way? After long hardships, the Alliance wins in the end due to the huge number of resources, reinforcements, and upgrades they have, and Skibidi Army loses. But then, an unexpected twist may come in the very last seconds of the next episode. Some sort of groundwork for the continuation of this war, but in space? I believe that Dafuk introduced Astro Toilets not as episodic characters to get easily forgotten, but as the possible basis for the future continuation of the series. The way Astro Toilets behave and look like distinguish them from the ordinary Skibidi. They are smarter and trickier, proved by episode 60, and they seem to be the second generation of Skibidi Toilets. So, when the Alliance defeats the first generation marked by the duo of Skibidi Scientist and G-Man, there is a possibility that another threat will come, and this time, from Astro Toilets, that will bring the war on the whole another level. And by the way, 
Do you remember this cool red plasma minigun Big Cameraman holds in the end of episode 69? I believe that it may be another hint about the future plot connection with Astro Toilets, as this cannon really reminds me of their weapons. I'll be looking forward to the next episode to see which ones of my predictions will come true. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, hit the like and subscribe button below and be sure to write a comment. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!